So here is your first look at a retail and fake pair of the Nike Union LA Jordan 2s. Can you tell any differences between these two? Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today is my first comparison video in the new setup. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of it. So here I have two pairs of the Nike Union LA Air Jordan 2. So here I have two pairs of the Nike Union LA Air Jordan 2 in the grey fog colorway. The pair on my right is the retail pair, the pair on my left is the fake pair. The retail one was purchased directly from sneakers and this is just a comparison video for you if you're trying to authenticate and purchase the retail pair. So we'll get straight into the comparison and we'll take a look at the top of the labels on the boxes. So these two pairs are exactly the same size so all the details should be exactly the same. So we'll take a close look at the labels now. Here you can see on the top it has the Union label on the box. However, you can see there's a clear difference between the color on the retail one compared to the fake one. So on the retail one, the color is actually slightly different to the fake one. You can see it looks a little bit more aged and a slight yellow hint to it. Whereas on the fake one, you can see it's a clear white label and the text on the top is very different from retail to fake. Also where you see the season number on the retail one, it says H021. Whereas on the fake one, there's no season number. Also there's a little bit of damage to the fake label on top compared to the retail one, which is in pristine condition. If you look at the text below on the label, you can also see that the font size is different from retail to fake. So now we'll spin it around and take a look at the size label. So looking at the size label, and I'll give you a close up of this, you can see differences between the retail and fake. Obviously the retail one was purchased here in the UK so it doesn't have the US price tag, whereas the fake one is obviously based on the US release so it has the US price tag on the side. However, if you look at the actual text itself, you can see the font size is different on retail to fake, with it being slightly thicker on the fake one compared to the retail one. Also, there is some spacing issues on the fake one compared to the retail label. And one final difference between the two boxes is the actual color of the box material itself. So I'll show you from above, you can see that on the fake one, it's a much lighter gray than it is on the retail one. The retail one is a darker gray overall. And this is quite an easy telltale sign to see between the two boxes. But nobody really wants me to talk about the boxes for the entire video, so we'll open them up and take a look at the shoes. So we'll open up the fake box first. What's interesting to see is the fake ones are actually covered by the paper, however, the box is almost falling apart and is stuck to the paper. I'm going to open up the retail one. As you can see, paper covers the shoes as well. In terms of the inside of the boxes, there isn't too much difference between the two. There are slight differences between the actual text size, but other than that, they're pretty close indeed. So now we'll unwrap the shoes fake ones here. What's interesting is on the retail one there's actually two lots of paper so it does come with this almost white paper which was just wrapped on top weirdly enough and then it comes with the Union LA Jordan paper underneath which is the only one that comes on the fake one. So here is your first look at a retail and fake pair of the Nike Union LA Jordan 2s. Can you tell any differences between these two? So the first noticeable difference between the two pairs is on the retail one, the spare laces come on the right shoe. So on the retail one, we have this light colored blue spare laces and these kind of orange mustardy kind of spare laces. And then on the fake one, we have the same colors again. However, they are attached to the left shoe, which is incorrect. They should always be attached to the right shoe if it's a dead stock pair. So just pay close attention to that if you have purchased a pair for yourself. Another interesting thing to note is with the spare laces, they're attached with this plastic tie at the top hole of the lace holes. Whereas on the fake one, they're attached to the second top hole and it's with almost this black rope like material. So it is slightly different from the retail to fake. Now we're going to take a closer look at the shoes themselves. So the next difference I'm going to show you occurs at the back of the shoe where you can see the Nike logo at the top of the heel. So here we can see a difference in font and actual text print between the two. On the retail one, I would say the Nike text is more blended in with the actual leather panel itself. Whereas on the fake one, it stands out a lot more. And also on the stitching below, you can see the holes are punched much wider on the fake pair compared to the retail one. And then if you look at the quality of the suede down the back of the heel here, you can see differences here once again. So in terms of the ridged material just below the Nike logo here, you can see that their indented lines are much clearer on the fake pair compared to the retail one. On the retail one, it's just a much more luxury quality compared to the fake one. And you can just see the cuts in the material are very clear to see on the fake one compared to the retail one itself because the quality on this shoe is very good. If we take a look at the inner upper side of the heel here, you can see it has these kind of like circular stitching patterns towards the top. 
Here we can see the difference between the retail and fake. From the close up you can see that the retail one has a large number of stitching and the stitching is much thicker than it is on the fake one and you can see it just looks completely different when comparing them side to side. On the outer side of the shoe towards the heel again you can see it comes with a label attached. If we take a closer look at the details here we can see more differences once again. You can see from the close up the retail one the red text is much more bright compared to the fake one where it's a much darker almost burgundy colored red. Also, you can see the text is much thinner and smaller on the fake one compared to the retail one. And if you look at the H021, you can see it's much thicker once again on the retail one compared to the fake. So there are quite clear differences between the retail and fake, and we'll try and spot more throughout this video. Spinning the shoe upside down, there is actually no differences on the bottom of the shoe. They have done this very well in terms of the pattern and the color itself. They have got this absolutely spot on. So like most fakes, when looking at a Union LA collab, you take a closer look at the Union LA label. And here, once again, this is no different. So we take a closer look at the Union LA label and we can see clear differences between the text on the retail one compared to the fake. On the fake one the label is much smaller and the Union LA text is much larger. As you can see it takes up a larger portion of the yellow label itself. Whereas on the retail one you can see there's a larger gap at the bottom of the label and the top of the label of the Union LA tag. What I will actually however say the suede around both toe boxes is very similar indeed. The quality of both of them is very high towards the toe box area. So on either side of the laces they do have these rubberized blue lace locks as well and if you give you a close up of this you can see differences between the retail and fake. So on the retail one here you can see that the stitching is much thicker compared to the fake one and it's also a much lighter shade of blue compared to the fake one once again. So it's just these small details that you are going to have to check if you are trying to make sure you're buying the authentic product. So now we'll take a look inside the shoe. So on the retail one, we do actually have a cardboard shoe tree inside, but on the fake one, they don't actually have this. So on the fake one, they have paper stuffing inside. So it should come with a cardboard shoe tree, but on the fake one, it does not. So just pay close attention to something like that. So now if I give you a close up of the inner side of the label here, then you can actually see the same differences that I noted on the outside of the label. So here from the close up, you can see that the text on the fake label is much smaller than it is on the retail one, and also a much darker burgundy red on the fake one compared to the light bright red that's shown on the retail pair. Now if I show you a close up of the Jumpman logo on the tongue, you can actually see differences between the retail and fake. On the fake one, you can see from the close up that the Jumpman is actually much more texturized than it is on the retail one. On the retail one, it's one clear red color, whereas on the fake one, it just looks like it's made of almost paper. It has different shades in the actual Jumpman logo itself. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope it has helped you. Please subscribe and like. It does help the channel grow and helps you do more comparisons just like this. And it helps me get a setup like this for the background of the videos. So thank you very much for that. That's all because of you guys. But yeah, I hope this video has helped you if you are trying to buy the authentic pair. But stay tuned for more videos and more comparisons coming soon.